Gunner is known for being on the headhunters for kind of renting equipment out at SC Village or SACOM Village. He innovated uh, yeah, what, tremendously. Yeah, what were some of his innovations? By trade, he was an aircraft mechanic or engineer, I guess, mm -hmm. and he, one of the first things he did was he put a stock onto the gun. He did flush mount, flush riveting, and uh, really nice aluminum work for a frame. He did really clean job with some of the first direct feed stuff. I Nobody had ever done direct feed until he did. Yeah. Um, he worked almost strictly on yeah, Sheridan's. Yeah. Um, he got into putting a pump on the gun, which again, especially for a stock Sheridan, was a tremendous piece. Instead of twist, cock, pull, yeah. ping, all, just the pump aspect alone. And, and all that was attributed to Steve, frankly, he innovated it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of that, then of course a lot of that stuff can be crossed over to other models, but Steve was way ahead of us. Yeah. So the pump handle on the Sheridans, was that before you guys had pump handles on your... And anything. Sevens? Yeah, before you had anything. Anything. So even when you were matched against them... <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. basically two guns available at that point. Mm -hmm. No, three. There was a well, Splatmaster. Well, there was a third that was a <laughs> Splatmaster, but it wasn't... Yeah. You didn't you, see you couldn't modify with, a Splatmaster. You didn't see anybody with Splatmasters now. Not, not on the They list were either 007s no. or yeah. PGPs. Uh, but yeah, Steve, Steve set the mark mm -hmm. early on for a lot of us. <laughs>